Hey, what's up you guys? So today I'm having trouble with my Charter ISP, also known as Spectrum. It's unstable. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. I can't get anything done this morning. So this is my home network rack. Yes, I know from the network advisor, you were expecting something a lot more glamorous, but anyway, it works well for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, um, one of my other cell phones, <clears throat> and I think I've, you've seen the video where I put the network adapter on the USB-C port. So I'm gonna take and put that in place of uh, the ISP modem. So here, let me show you what I'm gonna do. So, so here's the ISP modem from Charter, or from Spectrum. And what I'm gonna do is I take my phone and I'm gonna put it on this charging pad so that it charges while it's, while it's running. You know, because a lot of people made that comment in the video, the other video about how do you charge it. And then I'm gonna back here, this blue cable, that's, that's the wide area network output from the, from the modem, which goes into my uh, router and then my switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that out of there and then also just for good measure, I'm gonna shut off the switch and the router. And the reason I'm gonna do that is to clear out any what they call um, ARP tables or uh, basically just clear out any internet addressing information that might be left over from when it was connected to the, to the old, uh, to, to, to the modem that I'm trying to get away from right now. So I'm just gonna shut that all off, okay. Let it stay off for about seven seconds. Power cycle it back up again, wait for it to come up. And then what you do, if your phone is capable, and um, I gotta go in and gotta go into settings. Let's go into settings. Gotta go into uh, connections. If you guys are seeing this, gotta go into connections. Uh, and then it's mobile hotspot and tethering. Turn on Ethernet adapter. And then, oh, so it charge, it pauses the wireless charging. Now that is a bummer that it does that. Hmm, might have to get a different kind of connector. They make a connector that actually allows you to both charge and have network connection at the same time. So apparently it's paused when I turn that on. Anyway, so when this all comes back up, this, the switch and the router and so forth, then what will happen is is that my phone will be back feeding my basically my phone will become my ISP modem until such time that the charter gets its problem figured out and I can uh, I can switch it back and try it again. All right, so just thought you'd see how that works because a lot of people made comments about that like like how does that all work and that that's the way it goes. So the other there's a link for the other video if you want to see that just uh, look in the description.